This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everyone. Uh, in this session of App Files, uh, we are going to cover the uh, editing of a uh, document, uh, meaning that if you receive an offer on a listing, and you need to add the seller's initials and uh, seller's signature uh, for e-signatures and e-initials, uh, uh, you can uh, do that with app files. So bear with me. Uh, we are going to copy the file mailbox uh, because oftentimes, how do you receive an offer on your listing? You receive it via email. So here is our offer that we received. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and forward it into the file. So in the two section, we're going to paste that email address. Okay. We're going to click send, message sent. And we're going to go back into our file. Okay. And we're going to refresh. Until we see our document that we are looking for. Okay. So anytime you add a document into your app file is always going to end up down here on the left hand side. So just uh, make sure that when you're um, adding or uploading or emailing documents, you look for them on the left hand side. So in this case, uh, we email documents in. So we're going to open our file now in order to add the initials uh, and uh, signatures to this document, we need to click on the edit button. And uh, we're going to click on start conversion. Okay. So that did not go as I planned. Oh, sorry. It's some. Our internet is a little bit slow today. Okay. So uh, here's our document and. We're going to go ahead and get started with the initials. Now, over on the left hand side, you'll see uh, where it says uh, select the row, buyer, seller, etc. So, in this case, we're adding initials for uh, sellers. So, we are going to select seller initials, okay? Or if there's multiple sellers, we're going to do seller. Seller initials one. We're going to click on place initials, scroll, and simply click to add that initial for seller number one. Now we are going to add seller initials number two, place. And then click. Now, what if you have a third seller or even a fourth seller? It's very simple. You're going to do the same thing. So select a role. However, you're going to scroll down to the bottom. 
and we're going to assign a or add a new signer. Okay. The role is going to be seller. Number three. And new initials, seller number four. Place initials. Now this way it'll separate each seller and then you can send a uh, signature request for each one. And you'll do the same thing for the signature down here under select a role. You're going to add seller signature. Now to display the date on the signature, you simply click below. I highly recommend you do that for all. Place the signature. Now, in order to drag this date, you got to make sure you click on it and this uh, item turns orange. And once you do, uh, you do that, then you'll be able to drag it to the date section. And same thing with any signature uh, or initials. So you'll click on the item, wait for it to turn orange, and then you can drag it. Now we're going to do seller signature number two. Same thing. Move the uh, date. And we're going to do, oops, sorry. Same thing. So uh, signatures, new signer. Or number three, seller number four, okay. Now you do that obviously for each document. Um, if you need to do that. Um, if you need, need to make any changes to your document, like add a single line of text, you can simply click on the text section and add a text box and you can type right on there create same thing click on it wait for it to turn orange so you can move it now if you don't care for um, what uh, the buyers are offering you discuss this with your seller and they're not agreeing uh, you can add a multi-line strike through to delete that whole paragraph. And again, you have to click on it, wait for it to turn this orange color so you can resize your object. Okay. Now, same thing if uh, you need to add a single strike through. You simply click on single line, click, it adds the line for you. And in order to make this line bigger, just click on it, wait for it to turn, turn that orange color and drag. Okay. And that is it uh, for this session on how to edit documents in app files.